When we run our class, we run the method public static void main string square bracket args. I drew a box for all the local variables inside the main method. I labeled it with the name of the method, main. I would read line three as string s1 gets high. I read the equal sign as gets because the equal sign doesn't behave like it does in math. So on line three, I created a variable named s1 of type string. That means it's a variable that can reference a string. And the value I assigned it is a reference to the string high. Line four says string s2 gets s1. So on line four, I create a variable named s2 of type string. That means that it's a variable that could reference a string object. After I create that variable named s2 of type string, I assign it a copy of the value of s1. Since s1 is a variable that references the string high, I create a copy of that reference. Here's my copy. And then s2 gets set to a copy of that reference. So s2 also references that string object high. The big idea here is that in an assignment statement, we always copy the value of the variable. That's how ints work too. And when it's a variable that stores a reference, copying the value in the variable means that we're copying the reference and then have two references that keep track of the same object.